Yo, 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 what is going on guys and it's your boy RRB Plays here today bringing you guys yet another FIFA 20 squad builder to the channel and in today's video as you guys can tell by the title of the video I'm going to be showing you guys one of the most insane, one of the most overpowered 150k teams right now in FIFA 20 that is indeed built around the new released Summer Heat Furla Mendy. Yes, that's right guys, I've built an insane cheap affordable team that you guys can build around this Furla Mendy card and guys this Furlan Mendy card you can actually get for free you guys probably know that already but literally guys it's so easy and you know what you just got to give credit to EA when credit is due man I think they've hit the nail on the head or whatever that saying is um honestly I think they've just on point they've got on point um with this uh with releasing it this Furlan Mendy you know it's very very easy to do all you literally have to do is just literally play the games it's like you don't even have to win you just need to complete a couple challenges as well to unlock the highest rated one but literally man it's an overpower card and very very easy to do so i do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up this furlan mendy card but as i was saying man i've built a cheap beastly 150k team around at this mendy card but with that being said ladies and gentlemen make sure you guys do go ahead and smash the thumbs up button make sure you guys do go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications as well so you guys don't miss more overpowered squad builders like these ones but enough of the chit chat ladies and gentlemen let's waste no more time and get straight into the squad builder baby let's get it let's go Okay guys, so as you can see right now on your screens for this insane 150k team, the formation that you guys want to use is indeed the 4-3-2-1 formation, but guys, that is only just to get everyone on full chemistry. Once I've shown you guys the full team, I'll then show you what formation you guys to switch to in-game. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and move on. Let's just dive into the first player for this incredible 150k team and in the striker position we do have an absolute beast we do have an incredible player he goes by the name of lucas mora absolutely insane yes i know he is very cheap but he is still very overpowered and definitely worth the money that you will pay for him and as you guys can see he's got 95 acceleration and 89 sprint speed he completely fits the metal of the game that's why i do like him as well that's another reason why i love him as you can see man he's super super agile with 93 agility 92 balance 83 ball control and 80 dribbling is his uh, dribbling stats are absolutely amazing and and then as you guys can see there he's got 82 finishing and 82 attacker positioning i'll 100 say that his finishing does feel a lot better in game i think that is a lot more clinical than the stats do suggest but as you guys can see as well just to put the cherry on top just to put the icing on the cake he does have um uh, four star skill moves and four star weak foot as well so all in all man as a striker as a center forward man lucas mora is incredible he really and truly is a beast of a player in this game very very cheap but very overpowered so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but moving on in towards the left forward spot we go we do have a man of the match card a wolves player he goes by the name of diogo jota man this card is absolutely insane this card really is incredible and i do love it a lot again another card you know like lucas mora that does fit the meta um of this game as you guys can see man he's got four star skill moves and five star weak for you just simply cannot go wrong with using a card like that he's got 91 acceleration and 81 uh sprint speed so obviously yes he's quick off the mark and some may say that over long distances he will start to slow down but if you do want to increase that sprint speed stat a little bit more than obviously you guys know what to do get a catalyst get a hunter one of those two chemistry styles to really maximize his pace but as you guys can see man he's got 88 attack and positioning 83 finishing and 88 shot power he also does have 90 agility 89 balance 87 ball control 87 dribbling and 87 composure and again this is what i'm saying man diego jose fits the metal of the game super agile high balance high ball control high dribbling high composure these are the stats that really do make plays overpowered in fifa 20 and that is why he is one of the best cheap players that you guys can get in the premier league and in just in general in terms of being a left winger he is definitely one of the best out there so make sure you guys go in and get jose he's got the skill he's got the weak foot you just simply cannot go wrong with choosing this amazing overpowered car but moving on in towards the right forward spot to complete this attack well actually not really because we actually do have a center mid who actually is going to be playing camber like i said this formation is only for chemistry reasons but we'll get onto that later as you guys can see in the right forward spot we do have the manchester city man himself riyad mahrez again another overpowered player and we, well not another but a player that does have five star skill moves and four star weak foot so another five star four star player 
player, but this time it's the reverse of Diego Jota, not the five star weak foot, but five star skill moves instead. And again, you just simply cannot go wrong. But again, we do have another player that fits the merit of the game. I know for a winger, some may say he's not the fastest. So again, if you want to increase that pace a little bit more, go ahead, get a catalyst and get a hunter chemis chemistry style, one of the two. But as you guys can see, man, is finishing in my opinion from my personal experience is a lot better than 77 i would never ever ever put it as that low because in game again it's just a different story it's just one of those things to be honest um sometimes stats don't say it all but again it's just all about how how you feel and how the player feels um in game but yeah as you guys can see though 77 finishing and 79 shot power super super agile as you guys can see there he's got 92 agility 87 balance 90 ball control 90 dribbling and 84 composure so again in terms of the dribbling side of things and to be honest that's one of the most important things for a winger he is really really up there man very very overpowered again that's what makes Mario so overpowered in my eyes man because of that high agility because of that high balance because of the ball control the dribbling the composure all those stats are so key especially for a winger so make sure you guys go ahead and get Mario's and as you guys can see man he does indeed have five star skill moves and four star weak foot so he is incredible make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but that does complete the attack so far so let's waste no more time and get straight in towards the midfield field. Okay, so moving on in towards the midfield, we go, ladies and gentlemen. We do have an incredible player. We do have an incredible beast. In the central centre mid spot, we do have yet another Tottenham player. And in my opinion, Tottenham's best player is the one and only. It's the man himself, Hungman Sonaldo, as I like to call him, Sonaldo. Hungman Sonaldo, he's the Asian Ronaldo. Honestly, guys, Hungman Son, insane in real life and insane in FIFA 20, man. Such a meta player, such an overpowered player. As you guys can see, we do have yet another attacker that does have four star skill moves and five star weak foot. That's what I'm saying, man. This attack may be cheap, but it really is a meta attack. All of them have at least four star skill moves and all of them have have at least four star weak foot you just simply cannot go wrong with that but as you guys can see man high high work creates four star skill moves and five star weak foot you guys could actually play him striker instead of lucas Moura. that's completely up, up to you to be honest but just for the purpose of the video i'll say to put him cam but you can also put him striker as well honestly there isn't much of a difference so as you guys can see he's got 89 sprint speed and 86 acceleration which in my opinion is enough pace to have at striker or as, as a center mid especially as to be honest Nowadays, if, especially if you're playing at a high level on FIFA in terms of if, you, if you're on like, let's say, Division 4, Division 4, 3 plus, I say, a lot of people at that stage more than likely are going to just play defensive ball and drop back football, which basically means there's not going to be much space to actually run into, so it kind of defeats the purpose of having a super, super pacey player, but again, it all just depends who you're playing against, but that's why it's so uh, important to have those attackers that do have the high agility, because in those tight spaces, when you're playing against those drop back bums, you're going to be able to counteract them with the high agility players, okay guys, it all makes sense. But anyways, we move on. We move on. As you guys can see, he's got 86 agility. Uh, 86, sorry. No, yeah, he does have 86 agility. He's got 86 agility, 89 reactions, 87 ball control, 88 dribbling, and 87 composure. Again, very, very good dribbling stats there, as you guys can see. And not only that, man, he's got a hell of a shot on him, and that's why I do like Sonaldo as well, man. 88 uh, attacking positioning, 86 finishing, 88 shot power, and 90 long shots. But another thing that I do like about Hungman Sonaldo is the fact that he's got five star weave, which just generally makes him so unpredictable because you know the, the opponent's never going to know what side you're going to want to shoot on because of the five star weak foot so literally man just feel free to just slap a shot near post whenever you do get the chance left or right foot it really doesn't matter but you guys should know anyways Hungman Son is an absolute beast so make sure you guys go ahead and get him and make sure you buy him as a camel center mid so he does get full chemistry but moving on in towards the left center mid spot we do have the man himself Abdullah the Corey and it is indeed that 85 uh, not 85 the 84 rated sorry um in form is first in form i really really do love this card a lot man i use it so much back in the day man when it first came out i remember i got in red foot champs player pick actually no i didn't even get in a player pick i got in a um 
an 83 to 86 upgrade i remember i remember man that was so long ago oh man how how time goes so quick but yeah man literally man i remember playing with this decore card so much and i really 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 did enjoy using him in that cdm spot he's a well rounded midfielder man a midfielder that is very very good at defending and also a midfielder that is good going forward and that's why i do like him i mean his stats may not be too convincing i mean in terms of defending his stats are very very good but in terms of like his finishing you guys might think that's not good enough but in my opinion the way he performs in game it really really is good so just make sure you guys go in again he will not let you down but moving on in towards the right center mid spot we go we do have yet another manchester city player an overpowered manchester city player a defensive minded beast man he goes by the name of rodri an amazing cdm very very overpowered if you ask me yes i know he's not got that much pace but again if you want to increase the pace just simply get a catalyst or um i guess because he's a midfielder you might want to get a shadow get a, get a shadow or a catalyst chemistry style but as you guys can see man defensively he is very very good he's got 84 interceptions 82 defensive awareness 84 standing tackle and 78 sliding tackle in a cheap team like this one having rodri in the center in the center in a cdm spot sorry you just simply cannot go wrong with it so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up man he is literally going to be the anchor the stud and the rock of this team so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but moving on in towards the defense we go we're going to start off with the right back spot obviously we do have Furlan Mendy in the left back spot but we still have to get we still have to cover the right back position and in this position man we do have another Spaniard in the team he goes by the name of Odria Zola and make sure you guys go ahead and pick up the Real Madrid version all right it is so important that you guys get the Real Madrid version not the Bayern Munich version but with that being said man Odria Zola is just a typical cheap sweaty pacey fullback that's literally what Odria Zola is it's pretty much it, it, it's just so simple man and when you're building a cheap team like this one in 150k team, you don't want to invest too much in your fullbacks because let's be honest, your fullbacks in my well, in my opinion, anyways, are pretty much the least important positions in a team. As long as they got that pace about them, then you're pretty much fine, especially when you're building a cheap team like this. And that's what Oje Zola has. And to be honest, defensively, he actually is decent as well. He's got 78 standing tackle and 79 sliding tackle. So make sure you guys go ahead and get Oje Zola. He will get the job done. He is a fantastic card. So make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up. But moving on in towards the two center back spots we go honestly guys i would have loved to just add, add, add more sauce to the, to the to these two center backs but literally guys at the time of recording the market is it's just gone crazy man because EA released a prime icon pack a lot of plays that were like 10k to 15k have all gone up to like 30k to 25k it's, it's just ridiculous so yeah literally once the market goes back down there's a few adjustments that you guys can make to this team to make it a little bit better like upgrades for example you could upgrade Riyad Mahrez or even one of the center backs that I'm about to say you could upgrade it to like a Varane um when the market does go back to normal but with that being said let's just waste no more time and get straight back into it in the right center back spot we do have the one and only the man himself the cheap beast himself Eden Militao man you guys know how it is I know the stats don't say it all on this guy but again man he has proven time and time and time again um in this game that he is a beast man and again like he just gets his job done he does what he needs to do he's a very very overpowered center back yes i know the stats aren't convincing but in game it really is a different story when it does come to Eden Militao. he really is an overpowered player as you guys can see man he's got the pace about him and defensively he's pretty decent but again his defending is so much better than what the stats actually do say so i wouldn't even pay too much attention to that but what i would say is a good reflection of, of his ability in game is his pace man he's got 80 sprint speed and 78 acceleration and that is really really good and he does perform like that in game so make sure you guys go ahead and get him honestly a very very overpowered player man and i'm pretty sure you guys know that already man a lot of people do like to use Eder militao but as you guys can see man in the left center back spot this is basically the play that i was talking about we do have Clemo long lay i would have preferred to put run in at the time of recording um i was gonna put uh, i was actually gonna put run in but then they released a prime icon pack so boom I, 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 it's just it's very annoying but once the market goes back down go ahead and put Varane in this team because he does in fact fit and he does work but for now as the prices are just super super high and crazy right now go ahead and put Lenglet in as a temporary player basically is what I say to you guys but honestly guys Lenglet will still get the job done he still is very 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 overpowered but I would have just preferred to put Varane in this team because before before they released a prime icon pack Varane was literally around 20 to 30k but now he's gone back up to like 50k it's absolutely ridiculous but with that being said um as you guys can see man Lengler is a decent card man very very good he's got 87 interceptions 90 defensive awareness 
minus 83 standing tackle and 81 slide tackle he's got 82 strength and also decent pace as well so you just simply cannot go wrong with using Clemor Longley I really do think he's an overpowered card and yeah man he'll get you a very very good job done in the center back spot but I've been talking a lot so let's just speed it up in the goalkeeper position we do have the cheap beast himself Ariola. very very overpowered man again just that annoying cheap sweaty keeper that kind of reminds me of Jack Butlin literally guys he is the FIFA 20 Jack Butlin but with that being said man he'll get you a good job done and again you guys that are probably watching this video now have probably used him countless times in this game man he's a pretty decent keeper if you ask me and I really really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up but anyways guys as you can see this is the insane 150k team but we are not done here yet I'm gonna quickly show you guys what formation to switch to and of course guys there's only one formation actually you know what no there's two I'm gonna be real I'm gonna recommend to you guys to use the 442 formation as like Number form, formation number one. I'm gonna give you two. All right, the formation number one is gonna be the 442. I really do like this formation. I've been using it quite a lot recently, and I think it is very, very overpowered. So yeah, guys, make sure you guys use this formation. But if you guys don't like this formation, then I'm gonna show you guys what other formation to use. But in this formation, this is the formation. I mean, this is how you wanna set up the team. So you're gonna have Son and Lucas up top. Riyad Mahrez right mid. Diego Jota left mid. The core um and Rogers the two centre mids, and of course the defensive lineup will stay the same. But guys. Um, as I was saying, make sure you guys do this in-game so chemistry isn't affected. But if you guys don't enjoy using this formation, then of course, man, there's only one formation that you guys can use. The 4-2-3-1 formation, man. Very, very overpowered. You guys know that this formation is just saucy, man. But anyways, if you guys do use, do use this formation, then this is how I would structure it. Son at Cam. Son or Lucas at Cam, it really doesn't matter. So I get your Son at Striker. Lucas at Cam. Riyad Mahrez, right Cam. Diego Jota, left Cam. Rodri and Decore as the two CDM. So literally, guys. Guys, that is how you want to structure the team in game the 442 or the 4231. Let me know your thoughts of this insane 150k team down below in the comment section. I would love to know what you guys think. But if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to smash a like on the video. Also, if you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications. Your support is much appreciated. But I've done a lot of talk in this video. I hope you did enjoy this video. It's been your boy RB Plays, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.